that we had to send in our 30 day weigh in. Oh, you um, WBC? Yeah, yeah, WBC, and I was 129. Like, I walk around, I eat what I want, I'm in shape. We're ready to rock and roll. Like I said, we're just ironing out these last little kinks and the paperwork. Yeah. But we're gonna make this thing happen. So a fish so you almost what per, are you almost certain it'll be in because I heard it was a room it may be in LA and stuff up center. But it's gonna be in DC? It's gonna be in DC. We're gonna do it at the MGM. May 19th. At May 19th in the National Harbor. You know, that's the date that we're definitely looking at. Everything is already locked in. We're just ironing out the last couple of things in the paperwork, making sure that the finances and everything is exactly what's your, what we're looking for. Yeah. Uh, what's your take on Jojo Diaz? I mean, he's an undefeated fighter. Um, he's looking for a sense of stability, regardless of what your, what your occupation is. Of course, you want a sense of financial stability, so he's looking for that. He's a fighter, he's a warrior. Hopefully, hopefully he'll be able to stick in there a little longer than a lot of these other guys. Gary, did you, did you get the chance to see that tweet that Joseph Diaz said on Twitter that's at, that after he wins, he's going to go to your hometown and find a favorite food spot? Like, is that disrespectful towards that, like your home base and yourself? I mean, I will. I'm an Apex predator. Of course, of course. In most cases, it's the prey that's making all the noise. And they don't know it's too late until it's too late. Of course. I think that's the situation that JoJo's in. And, you know, I got a whole lot of love in my city. So he got to be careful with saying little stuff like that because people, you know, the fans, the true fans and friends, from the particular area, they pick up the slack when I don't. You know, I don't pay attention to social media or anything like yeah, that. I'm really not on social media, you know, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that genuinely support me and got my best interest in hand that I ain't gonna let him say anything out of me. Were you impressed with that fight with Tarajas, his last fight? Were you, did you see any improvement in his game? I honestly never really watched him fight before. I, um, I feel as though that with the caliber of opponent that he fought, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You know, that's what you're supposed to do with that caliber of opponent. It's a whole nother monster with Mr. Russell Jr. What are your Dude. predictions on the Broner and Jesse Vargas fight? How do you see that fight holding down tomorrow night? I personally know Broner. I don't know Jesse Vargas. And once again, um, I really don't watch boxing that much. So i never really seen Jesse Vargas fight before. I never really seen a fight before, so hopefully they give everybody a good show and they get we both rewarded handsomely. You know, um, I hope the finances is exactly what they wanted to be because we're fighters and we do share that. We share the fact that we are warriors and we are gladiators, man. And hopefully um, they get the best outcome they can get out of. Gary, do you think people do they make too much about uh, inactivity? Because I hear a lot of people say, I think Gary will, will win the fight, but I'm worried about uh, you know one fight a year. That what do you think about that? I mean, my last my last couple fights was one fight a year away. How did I look? You look great. Was, was it Highland? Would you? No, who not Highland? You not some guy on Showtime? You, know, you beat the shit out of him. You know, yeah. um, I've been I've been competing. I had my first amateur bout at seven years old. You know, so it's a lot of miles on the speedometer. The fact that I compete once a year gives me the ability to preserve my body, to protect my hands, preserve my hands. So when we do get in there, we strong. Why do you, right. why do you beat uh, Jojo Diaz? What, Say that again? Why do you beat Jojo Diaz? What, what makes Gary Russell the better fighter? <laughs> <laughs> Punching power, hand speed, ring generalship, the ability to be versatile. If you're great, I don't care what your occupation is. If you're great, you have the ability to do more than one thing. With a lot of the fighters that you see, what you see is what you get. They can't make the necessary adjustments. Uh, if they're slick boxers with no punching power, or they're straightforward brawlers, you know, that can't make the adjustment to be a good boxer. What makes the difference is that I'm 100% versatile in everything. Do you feel like you're a boxer puncher? Is that of you? course. I'm a boxer puncher, but if it's necessary for me to get ugly and get grimy, we can make that happen too, and I'll be equally as comfortable doing that as well. Gary, I know you were probably impressed at uh, the bar cameras. The fight is solidified. There's no little details that still need to be worked out. Nah, no, 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 no. It definitely is details that need to be worked out. So it's not 100% made yet? I mean, it's not 100% made yet. We're about 90% there. We're definitely about 90% there. The venue and everything is locked in. Um, we just ironing out the last couple of things within the contract. There's a couple of things that I'm looking forward to, to getting in the contract. Uh, we have a great business relationship with Al Hamey. Um, I've been dealing with him my entire career. How, how's it been business. dealing with Golden Boy? We, we done no dealing with Golden Boy. Okay. You know, Al Hamey has been my advisor.
organizer for the you know my entire career ever since I turned professional. Everything it is that we've asked for and everything that he said that he's gonna do, he always executed. So I'm 100 percent confident that the, that everything is gonna go through. We already already turned in my 30 day weigh in. I weigh in pick. I came in at 129. Who walks around 30 days, you know? three, four pounds away from their weight. Gary, I gotta ask you about Canelo's suspension. Do you think that six month suspension is fair for just, you know, for him and, and for boxing? You know, what, what's your perspective on that? I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I really can't speak on it on that as much. I think that it, it, is, it, is, it is somewhat crazy that you have these fighters that's busting their ass and they pushing just for someone to try to cheat, Yeah, yeah. you know, and get an enhancement drug or something like that to make you faster or stronger, you know. May the best man win. That's what they're working in the gym. This is why I love the sport of boxing. You can't pass the ball to your teammate when things get rough. You're preparing yourself to the best of your ability for no one else other than the person across the ring. And I think that's what the sweet side is supposed to be about. Um, as far as the time frame of the suspension, I mean, it's a business. You got to understand that Canelo and Triple G aren't the only ones that's going to generate a revenue of money from that. There's a lot of people behind the scenes that's going to generate money. So right now, let me the fight happen a little sooner. Now, Gary. What do you make of uh, the march that Lomachenko's had up the way to now come I don't answer no questions about Lomachenko no more unless we got a contract right now to fight. Is that something then that you're you're seeking after this fight with JoJo is, is going after uh, Lomachenko? with whatever weight he ends up at? I don't, I, we already made that statement. It doesn't matter what weight division he is. I have the ability to fluctuate up and, weight, up and down the weight anyway. So that's something that we're going to make happen for the conclusion of my career anyway. Gary, what yeah, happened yeah. for you then? Gary. Of course. Cool. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Gary, you, you alluded to preserving your body. Do you think that, uh, me included, you only fighting once a year will hurt hurt you when you're being compared against some of the greatest. You're obviously one of the most physically talented fighters, probably arguably the greatest since 2000. Comparing you like to the Roy Jones, Floyd Mayweather, just because you're inactivity, do you, versus if you were more active. And all of his boxing fans, real boxing fans, say Gary Russell is arguably one of the greatest boxers of our era. I mean, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, that's all fine and dandy. My, my, my main objective is to provide a sense of financial stability for my family, my friends, and the people that I truly care about. I, I don't really get into all that as far as what people think. You know, um, it's very few few opinions that really that I really value. Um, at the end of the day, I just want to make sure my family and my friends good, and I'm doing everything in my power to provide that for them. Would you say your athletic ability and your boxing ability are on, on par with Roy Jones and Floyd Mayweather? Of course. These are the guys, well, I ain't down on anyone, but when you look at Mr. Gary Russell Jr. fight, you'll say, damn, did you see that combination he threw? Did you see what he just did? You know, it's, it's something that's exciting. You know, um... Floyd Mayweather, I really didn't look at him as a very exciting fighter. Maybe earlier in his career, I looked at him as exciting, but when you look at Floyd Mayweather fight today, or, or recently, you know, people will sit around and they know that it's going to be a 12-round fight. It's going to go the distance. When Mr. Gary Russell Jr. get in the ring, there's no telling what's going to happen. You I called you Odell Beckham a boxer. That's, what I, that's my nickname for you, Odell Beckham a boxer. <laughs> you know? No ceilings.